Well, the goal was to get power back to 90% of customers by tonight, leaving 15,000 people still in the dark. PGE has made a lot of progress, but just under 30,000 people are still waiting in Clackamas County alone. That includes people who live in West Lynn. We spoke to two homeowners who are now on day seven without electricity. They both think it will still be days before crews finish repairing all of the damage and downed power poles. Uh, highway 43 was pretty amazing how many trees were down and then up by the high school there's a number of large oak trees down. I am quite certain given our location we are in the 10 percent. We may, I just hope we're not the final 1 percent. Well, as you just heard, neither think their neighborhood will be included in the 90% of customers who are expected to have electricity here soon. PGE says this was by far the most destructive ice event in 40 years and that they couldn't even get into the hardest hit areas during the first 48 hours because it just wasn't safe. To date, PGE says they've restored 620,000 customers and repaired 330 miles of transmission lines, but there is still a lot of work left to do. Highway 4 43 was one area with extensive damage and sections of it remain closed tonight. Now we also learned PGE launched another new online tool today to help give people a better idea of when their power might come back. We have a link to that on coin.com. Reporting live, I'm Lindsay Nadert, Point Six News.